Hello dear chess lovers and welcome to the longest existing legal checkmate by now in 167 moves. The motive of the position is taken from Lutz Nyoklovsky's position, but we have improved it with our team and now you are gonna see it in 167 moves. Pause the video and try to find it. <laughs> well, I'm joking, it would be a little difficult challenge. Let's take a look at these very, very crazy positions. White is down, tons of pieces, but the black king is in some kind of a mating cage where are trying to put this together and checkmate. So, in this position, white's gonna make some forcing moves and win the opponent's queen. We're going to start with bishop d6 check, Queen takes, queen takes d6 check, and here black plays rook c5. If you take a look, even though black has lots of pieces, not many of them have some moves. There is a rook on a4, bishop a5, rook on c5 under the pin. Black now can be moving the knights on b6 and a7, and the pawns on the h file. As well, black always wants to push the a pawn. In this position, if we are trying to chase the black king with some checks, let's say queen d4, queen d2, black will be covering with the rook accordingly, we are not gonna gain anything. And the key move here is to put black into a difficult condition, is to go bishop a2. What happens now? Black cannot move all the pieces and the knights and the pawns are being left. Of course, also the king moves. Now black cannot move the knights. Let's figure out why. For example, if they are moving the knight on b6 to c4 square, uh, their rook is under the pin on the diagonal and white's mating in one with knight d5. The c3 square is covered by the knight. Here is the bishop. So this is a beautiful checkmate. Few moves ago, instead of going knight to c4, black cannot also move the knight on a7. For example, let's say they are going knight to c8, we are mating here in two moves. We go knight c6 check, and after king d4, we are playing queen d3 check. What happens? Black is supposed to go king b2, we continue queen b1 check, and after king c3, the only checkmating move is queen c1. Knight is controlling the important squares as well. So what we figured out that in this position, black cannot move the knights. Now they have a choice to go king to c3 or to push the h pawn. Since the h pawns are close to our king, I'm gonna tell you the following. Let's assume black is pushing the h pawns and we are getting a position without any pawns on the board. So I'm removing all of the h pawns. At this moment, if it's black to move, they are getting checkmated. Now, only move for them will be to go king c3. Capturing the rook on c5 wouldn't give us anything. After queen takes, black can go knight to c4. They are keeping lots of pieces on the board and it's gonna be very complicated. Instead, white can be checkmating. After king c3, we are going queen d3 check, king b2, queen b1 check. And after king c3, white is playing queen c1 check. So what would happen now? If black is going king to b4, white is doing the following maneuver, queen d2 check, rook c3, queen d6, and rook c5. In several moves, we repeated the cycle, and we are getting the exact same position, but it's white to move now. So white here is going king to e1, and already king is supporting the square on d2. So after black goes king c3, queen d2 is a beautiful checkmate. Bishop takes the squares on b3, c4, and queen is mating this way. So this means that black doesn't want to advance the pawns. They are trying to keep this as long as possible. So at this position, going pawn to h3 wouldn't work, and black is doing king to c3, a very logical move. They are trying to postpone all of this as much as possible. Now we are going to do the cycle you have just seen previously. Queen d3 check, king b2, queen b1, king c3 and queen c1 check. At this position, the main move we are going to look at is going to be queen b4. But let me quickly mention, black king cannot escape through king d4 square and here is the reason. White has a forcing checkmate here in some 5-6 moves. Can you try to find it? Pause the video. Well, if you found this one that was doable, so here white's going on with e3 check, Pawn takes e3 is just impossible. Queen takes e3 is a checkmate. So after the check, black has to go king to e5. And now we are capturing the rook with the check. At this position, knight d5, black is trying to prolong the checkmate. But we are still capturing. King f6, queen f7 checkmate. 
Now if black is going king e5, queen e6 is mating. And after the check, if black is going king to g5, queen f5 is checkmating. So we figured out that at this position, never king d4 idea would work out. White's mating there. So king b4 goes on, and here the main motive starts. White is repeating the cycle with queen d2 check, Rook c3, queen d6 check, rook c5. We have got exact same position, but with white to move. If there are no h pawns on the board, we are checkmating. So what are we supposed to do? We are going to take these pawns. White goes king g2 and here the long cycle begins. King c3 and we are repeating the idea. Check, king b2 check, king c3, queen c1. King b4, queen d2, black cannot escape from this. Rook c3, queen d6, and our king is getting closer to the pawns. Rook c5, king h3. Again, the same happens. Black goes king c3, we are repeating. Check. King b2, check. King c3, another check. King b4, queen d2 again. Rook c3, queen d6. And after rook c5, now white already captures the pawn on h4. So what happens if black goes now king c3 and we another time repeat the cycle? Let me put this, we are giving the same checks. Queen d2 and rook c3, queen d6. Now the pawn on h5 is protected, so our king cannot be advancing to the h6, h7 and take all of these pawns. And after we go king h3, black king is also not going to stand, let's say black is gonna make a move, they will not push the pawns, they are gonna be waiting. What's our idea is, now white king is trying to go back, this king is aiming for the square on e1, trying to make the checkmate which you have seen previously, so let's go. King c3, of course we are supposed to repeat this cycle all the time and we are winning a move, so king goes to g2, black is doing the moves with the king and our king is now going to uh, f1 square, pay attention we are only on the move number 40, so still 127 moves are coming, king c3, queen d3, king b2, queen b1, okay this is happening and what's the thing now, after check rook c3, Check, rook c5 and king e1, we are playing this move, black is no longer able to play king c3, queen d2 will be a checkmate. So black is now forced to push the h pawn. Guess what we are doing now? We are going king to f1, we are going back and trying to repeat the same cycle again. By doing this we are gonna win the second pawn, we are giving a check, king goes to g2 and this is repeating pretty much quick. Uh, check, 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 king goes to h3, we are gonna taking a uh, next pawn after we do the checks and that's gonna be a really interesting moment so after queen d6 rook c5 we capture now black again doesn't want to move the pawn they don't want to go to h5 and what happens this time after king c3 we are repeating the cycle again white king is going back white king is gonna try to take the square on f1 uh, check okay Queen d2 check rook c3 queen d6 looks like all is going well queen d3 king b2 Check king c3 and now queen c1 king b4, queen d2 rook c3 and we are getting this interesting position. Queen d6 check rook c5 and king f1. We are used to that, that black here is repeating the cycle. But in this specific sequence, instead of just giving the checks, white's getting a powerful idea. If black now plays king c3 instead of going pawn h5, White does the same checks, is putting the opponent king on the square on b4, and instead of now playing king e1, in this specific position, because black has a pawn on h6 square, not on h5, white is getting the other winning idea. They go king e1, they are protecting the square of d2 checkmate, so no longer king c3 would work. And after h5, white goes pawn e3. The idea is pretty much straight. White is aiming for king e2, d3, king d4, and queen c5 checkmate. So, black will not be able to stop this. As you remember, they don't have moves with the knight. h4, of course, we don't go king d2 because there is knight c4 check. So, we are going king e2, h3, king d3, h2, king d4, and now, after the promotion, queen c5 is just a checkmate. So, for this reason, guys, after king f1 move, black has to play now pawn h5. And at this position, we are going king to e1 square, 
king c3 will no longer be possible. Instead of going king f1, king g2 was also doable, but that was prolonging all the checkmate for a single move. I hope you trust me, that will be another 60 move variation to check out. So what I want to show you that now after h4, the variation you have seen previously wouldn't work. White now goes e3, h3, and after a king e2, black pawn is faster for a tempo. So after a king d3 promotion, we are not on time for a king d4, black will be giving a check and already winning. That's why after h4, we are going back king f1 and again we are going to repeat the cycles. Queen d3, we are doing this, notice black already has only few pawns left on the board. So king g2, check. Queen b1, queen c1, queen d2 are repeating this and going to take the last pawn on the h file. Uh, I'm sorry, the how to say pre last pawn? <laughs> I don't know the right word. So there are two pawns left. Okay, let's go this way. Uh, check. And we capture it on h4. Uh, only single edge pawn is left, and if you remember, black cannot keep the pawn on h7 for a long while, because at some moment, if they are doing this again, we will switch to the mating idea with d3. Now we do the same, just our king is marching back to the e1 square, queen d2, queen d6, king g2. Uh, again repeating the cycle, queen is going to uh, d6, king goes to f1 square. Now, this is the moment where again, black cannot keep the pawn on h7, they cannot even go h6, because the same happens, king c3. White is switching to the mating idea you just saw previously, giving all the checks, and white is playing now, king e1, h5, e3, with the idea king e2, d3, d4. So, here black has to last time push the h pawn, this is the last h pawn, again, with the repeating cycle, king e1, h4, king f1, King c3, we are going to destroy the last pawn of opponent. We are pretty close to see the checkmate. Rook c3, queen d6, rook c5, king g2, and okay, that's going on check. King b2, another check, king c3. We are doing this, and king goes to h3 after queen d6, rook c5, king h3. No much is left for black here. King c3, we are giving the checks, and we are going to win the pawn. Now what happens after queen d6 check and rook c5, we take it on h4. Already, black wouldn't have any resources on the h file, so we're repeating to the final checkmate position. White king is going back, king h3, the same is gonna happen, white king is going to g2 square. So king c3, and this is the last time you are seeing the maneuver, guys. Uh, queen d2, rook c3, queen d6 check, rook c5, king f1, king c3 check. And after king b2, queen b1, king c3, we are going queen c1. In this position, black should try to prolong the checkmate and king d4 will be the main move. But let me show you that the king b4, the pattern which we have already seen like many 10 times, black goes queen d2, rook c3, queen d6 check, rook c5, king e1. Now if black goes king c3, queen d2 is the checkmate and let's say if they are trying to prolong the checkmate, knight c8. Knight c6, and now king c3. This is made in 166 move in this variation. So after a queen c1 move, if black is going king d4, we play the e3 check, the motif which we have seen previously. So if pawn takes, queen e3 is the checkmate. And after e3 check, if black is going king e5, queen c5, knight d5, queen takes d5, and after a queen f6, Queen f7 check. Now if king e5, this is a mating one. So again, trying to prolong, black here goes king g5 and gets mated. Queen g6, king h4 and queen g4 checkmate. So 167 moves. If you found this, you are stronger than the engine because at the very beginning position, engine evaluates everything like a 0, 0, 0, very unclear positions. So that's it, dear friends. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very long checkmate. I don't say you will find this kind of ideas in your games. This was just an entertaining video. GM Gabuzian was here with you and I will see you in our next videos.